our soldiers often wondered where Sargon had actually come from. Some believed that he had descended from heaven, like the founder of Kish. Others said that he was an orphan who had been found in a basket floating on the Euphrates. I have even heard some townsmen say that he was the son of a priestess who had given birth without having ever lain with a man. Sargon only smiled at these rumors. He said that it does not matter where a man comes from, only where he goes, and that he himself follows the path that Ishtar shows him. That path led to war. With Kish subdued, Sargon sent his army to conquer the countless city-states of Mesopotamia in Ishtar's name. The masters of these cities scoffed at Sargon's ambitions, yet secretly, they all feared him. In order to match Sargon's army, they joined forces under the leadership of Lugal Zagisi, the priest killer. He was a brutal man, feared for his atrocities across the region. He would often desecrate the temples of the cities that he conquered. Yet, he was a capable tactician and a gifted commander. A suitable challenge for Ishtar's champion. The city-states of Mesopotamia lie before us. Oklahoma? They are loyal to Lugal Zagisi, but they will follow Ishtar's call after seeing her artifact. Our scouts report seeing some unclaimed villages in this area. We shall add them to my growing empire. Hilare, Alamas. 
Palamas. constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. Do not worry. It is no more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes to tend to my wounds. Enemy forces have destroyed one of our markets. Drive these marauders out and build a new one immediately. Bombus. We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. has not called me home yet. Forward, let us smash our enemies. This is the cart carrying the artifact. We should task soldiers to guard it at all times so that the artifact does not fall into the wrong hands. Nice. Oh, 
No more than a scratch. Give me a few minutes to tend to my wounds. We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute. Enemy forces have destroyed one of our markets. Drive these marauders out and build a new one immediately. Yuri?
Zomas, Yoga. Bombus. Yuri. Bombus. Odema. Yuri. Bombus. Yuri. Yuri. Bombus. Yuri. Alamas. 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 We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. Yuri, Zamas, Yuri, Kalare, Ombilgen, Ombis, Akama, Ombis, Epadade. Bombus. 
Bombas. Bombas. Espera aí. Espera aí. E botaram. Inhabitants of Shusha realize that their resistance is futile, for mortals cannot defy the divine will. They will join our cause. Enemy forces have destroyed one of our markets. Drive these marauders out and build a new one immediately. Men, I told you to always keep an eye on the artifact. Why is it in the hands of allied troops? The artifact is in our hands. Do not be so careless again, soldiers. Who do you think you are, Sargon? A holy man? As far as I know, you have only pushed the senile old man from his throne. Do not make the mistake of considering me such a pathetic figure. Oh, and before I forget, I hear that you are spreading rumors among your followers that I am a cruel desecrator of temples. What exactly did you do in Sipar and Borsipar, Sargon? You're a hypocrite, not a chosen one.
has captured the artifact. Quick, retake it before it is lost forever. The artifact is in our hands. We will not be so careless again. Just... <laughs> People of Nippur are in awe of our army and Ishtar's artifact. This city will not cause us any further problems. I never liked that city anyway. Untrustworthy wretches who always pay their taxes late. You are welcome to deal with them from now on. Bombus. Parai? Bombus. Rogan?
soldiers of Isin bow to Ishtar's will and will no longer fight us. From now on, our enemies are theirs. Yuri? Hombis. Three enemies defeated. Only one city stake left. In the name of the goddess of war, we will conquer even the most stubborn. What are you waiting for, my soldiers? Victory is within reach. Not so fast, Sargon. You might impress some frightened city militias with your cheap artifact, but not me. Prepare to fight real soldiers. We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. Now let us see if that self-proclaimed chosen one is immune to our swords and arrows. Charge! We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. Well, well. We will soon find out which of us fed off more than he could chew, Lugal Zagisi. We have constructed a market in this village. As long as it remains standing, the inhabitants will pay tribute to us. Ombus, 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 Ombus. the taste, Zargon. Next time I will not be so merciful, but will crush you like a bothersome insect. There they run. Back to Uruk to lick their wounds. The day is ours.
Bombes. Rogan? Bombes.
The enemy has captured the artifact. Quick, retake it before it is lost forever. The artifact is in our hands. Do not be so careless again. The enemy has captured the artifact. Quick, retake it before it is lost forever. The artifact is in our hands. Do not be so careless again. The artifact has come to Larsa. Its residents, common farmers and rich merchants alike, are equally seized by fear and awe. They bow their heads to the goddess and to you, wise and old. After several bloody campaigns, the enemy coalition was crushed. The goddess of war may have enjoyed the slaughter, yet I shuddered at the piles of bodies that we left behind in her name. Still, our mission was not over. Ishtar had promised Sargon all of the land that lies between the two great rivers. But as long as Lugal Sagisi remained at large, Sargon's claim to hegemony would be challenged. As the tyrant fled southwards, our soldiers pursued him to his well-fortified capital of Uruk. There, holed up behind its walls, he began scheming once more. 